Welcome to one of Phoenix's most historic and really cool neighborhoods, the Willow Historic District. If you want historic charm and you want a big city living lifestyle, I know Phoenix is spread out, but I'm telling you guys, there are some nice little pockets like this that have historic charm. This is one of them. You'll want to watch this video, watch it to the end, and see all the different architectural styles and the quaint culture that this community has. You will love it. Willow Historic District in Uptown Phoenix. Let's go check it out. And hold hands while we're doing it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Now we're walking on one of my favorite streets in all the Willow Historic District and that is Cypress. Cypress Street is awesome. It has a lot of phenomenal homes like most of the historic district does here. But Willow is really, really known for its Tudor architecture. And you can see by these two homes right here, it's very evident what the Willow District is all about. There are plenty of Tudor homes throughout here. And there's other things, other craftsmen, there's Pueblo, there's Colonial and other styles as well. But the Tudor is one of my favorites and that's why I just love the Willow Historic District. Now let's talk about the history of the Willow District. Can you imagine this was all settled by Homestead? That's right, J.P. Holcomb in the 1870s actually took over this land by Homestead. He just claimed it. Can you imagine today if we could do that? That'd be awesome. But that unfortunately is long gone. So he became probably a very wealthy man at the time, I imagine. But later on, it started to get developed in the 1920s and 1930s, pre-World War II. And then from there, there was actually commercial activity that started to encroach on these areas that were once quiet suburbs in 20s and 30s and even 40s. And so as the decades wandered on, you started having, in the 1980s, the residents get together and they finally created an historic um, protected um, act, if you will, where now they have this status of historic district and there are certain things that um, commercial developers cannot do. There's certain things that um, people who want to come in here to knock down a property or remodel it just cannot do. You have to preserve that historic look of the house. So if you want to remodel, you have to go through all kinds of special permitting. And then of course, you have to keep the front facade and look of the home, but you can only touch the inside and rear of the home. So fun facts for Willow Historic District. As you can see, the eastern border of the Willow District is Central Avenue, and it is bustling with activity. You have all kinds of office buildings and um, high-rise condo living all throughout Central Avenue District, and you have a light rail as well. That's right, Phoenix's main public transportation system um, is actually the light rail, but it only goes through uptown Phoenix um, into north central Phoenix, Mesa, and Tempe. So, it does not go everywhere, which is good in some ways, but not so good in many others because Phoenix is so spread out. You can see, guys, one of the things about the Willow District that's kind of unique is a lot of one-way traffic. So you can see all the signs there in the road as I pause for a second and then I'm gonna get off out of the way. But as you can see, a lot of one-way traffic down the main areas of uh, the Willow District, 3rd Avenue, 5th Avenue, etc. So you do have to be aware of that. But it does make for a better traffic flow overall when you have that one-way activity. So it's easy to get through the Willow District going north and south. Okay, now here's a, a, a unique street sign. If you look at that, that's kind of cool in a way. It could be confusing, but 7th Avenue, which borders the Willow District on the west, actually has a unique traffic pattern where they have 
one lane in the middle that actually switches at different times of the day. So that one lane has traffic flow going to the north, um, or rush hour, I should say, on uh, the afternoon times, and it has traffic flow going to the south on the morning times. So it can be a little confusing if you're not native to the downtown Phoenix area. Okay, so we are just on the northeast side of the Willow Historic District at the corner of Thomas and Central. And you get a good idea of the, the cityscape of Uptown Phoenix. I mean, check it out. So if you like city living and some historic charm for the house you live in, maybe the walkability factor being high, right? So you can walk to your coffee shop, which we're about to do right now. We're actually gonna model this for you, going to Tom and Ken's amazing coffee shop. And uh, we're gonna let you know what the KCI says about their coffee. Stay tuned. So we are looking for some, some good coffee. Yeah, well we got this the place? All right. Dude, this is my kind of menu. <laughs> and then we do have a full menu right up on my glass right now. I don't, I don't need that. If this is pumpkin, yes. I'll stick on this menu right here. Right. All right, so how about the pumpkin spice latte? Solid? Right, yeah. Do you want to do that hot or iced? Mm, let's go hot. Hot? Yeah. And then with ice, we can do 12 or 16. 12 is good. I already had a couple this morning. <laughs> is whole milk okay for you? Um, I don't know. Do you have skim? We don't have skim. We can do like milk alternatives. So like oat, almond, soy, coconut. Sure. Oat milk. Oat milk? You got it. All right. Anything else for you? Whatever she would like. Can I do a 12 ounce vanilla latte? Oh, please? I would have guessed it. <laughs> whole milk is fine. I thought for one time she's going to go. And then what's a good name for that? supposed to be a PG rated channel. Sorry. Coffee in downtown or really uptown Phoenix. You probably haven't seen a lot of buildings because you know we're shooting suburbia a lot. Well now we're in downtown you're getting a historic district feel and urban coffee living. Let's sit down and check out the KCI. All right this is the uh, I mean did you, was there any doubt PSL? We know what that means, right? So it's that time of the year. I can't help myself. I love the pumpkin. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Mm. Now, I had oat milk with this one because I just had to do that. It alters the flavor a little bit, but that is really, really good. You can tell it has um, a little more spice to it, which I'm not opposed to, um, but it's also sweet. So I give this overall, I give us a solid eight at Tom and Ken Coffee Shop here in Uptown Phoenix. Five oh five Cypress. I sold this house a few years back. Look at that beautiful Tudor red brick. Oh, 
amazing. right now um, the cheapest home you're going to find is going to be around five hundred thousand dollars and that's going to be for about fifteen hundred square feet a property that needs probably a full remodel on the interior on the high end the prices go up to about 1.45 million dollars in fact there's a home under contract right now for that price and that's going to get you about 28 to 2900 square feet so some of these properties um, are very small with a small footprint because that's how it was back then yet some of these have been added on to in the rear of the property or a, an, an entire separate guest house if you will or structure on the backyard so pretty cool what you can find down here as they really maximize the lot size of most of these homes the gates of the Willow Historic District. Guys, it's actually kind of cool. You know how we said that the eastern boundary of Central Avenue? Well, truly, the eastern boundary is First Avenue for the Willow District. Why? Because they actually do a good job on every single side street with having gates and no through access. So the only way you can enter into the Willow Historic District is from the north and the south off Thomas and McDowell. Pretty darn cool. It makes it very safe, keeps all the traffic from Central Avenue and that entire business district out of the neighborhood. So one more positive reason why Willow District is actually a lot more secure and safe than one might think. Thank you so much everyone for watching our wonderful video on the Willow Historic District. I hope you really enjoyed it. I know I did. I love seeing old school, charming, sophisticated, architecture like this. This is amazing, especially in one of the major metropolitan areas of the country in Phoenix, Arizona, right uptown. So if you want any more information on the Willow Historic District or anything real estate related, please give us a call at 480-660-5974. Email us at info at cookingassociatesaz.com or check us out right here on Instagram at Kelly Cook Homes. We would love to help you out with any real estate questions or needs you have regarding anything in our wonderful city of everything Phoenix. Take care guys, don't forget to call me. Call me. Oh, frick. Are you serious? Yeah. I went the wrong way. I just talked about it and I just did it. <laughs> I literally, oh my God. <laughs> I literally just gave you guys the warning of the one-way traffic in the Willow District and I went the wrong way. Hey. <laughs> that lady was probably like, what in the world? She's like, Kelly, look. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Don't worry, folks. Abby is safe. It's okay. She's a little nervous right now, but we're going to be all right, I think. <laughs>